っていませんでしたね。私はボンドルド。アビスのタンクツカ、黎明教と人は呼びます。ああ、けなげで可愛らしい。君たちもぜひ欲しい。猫<笑>酸素の不可分のシェイカーです。安心してください。少々内臓がひっくり返るだけですてめえどうなってやがるなぜ二人いる二人アンブラハンズはすべて私ですよ<笑>あなたはミーティーとの深い精神性のつながりいわば相棒によってアビスの祝福のみをその身に受けた唯一の成功例な愛ですよナナチええ赤をつけたものはすべて破棄してください。破棄、破棄。パパ私、夜明けが見たい。ええ、共に夜明けを見ましょう。この手紙書いたのが本当は誰なのか。アビスの呪いが何のためにあるのか。レグはどんな理由でどんな人が作ったのとかだってチンチンまで大きくなるんだよチンチンって何え<笑>普段はこんな感じのんでレグがおっぱい見たりナナチ触ったりしてると<笑>ああパパ棒のことかなあ<笑> Gotta write that down パパ棒 The implications of that are Yeah. Unsettling. Yeah. Come here. Come here. おい、頭をすげ替えてないよ。ゾアホリック、何、うん？ゾアホリック、精神冷蔵機、意識を人に植え付けて、自分自身を増やす異物。でも自分の意識を混ぜたり増やしたりした使い手が発狂しちゃって、目録でも15年前から消失扱いになってた特急異物。そいつがあの仮面の正体か。うん、ゾアホリックは大きな部屋ぐらいあるお尻みたいな形。違うかな不屈の花園にいたアンブラハンズが言ってたの覚えてるかあの方は今はいないそうまたぐやり方は不都合が出やすいあれって仮面なしでも意識は移せるけど力場をまたぎすぎると狂っちまうってことなんじゃねえのおそらく仮面はただのシンボルだ黎明鏡新しきボンドルドとしてのそしてプルシカにあれが父親だとすり込むためのゾアホリックだっけそいつがくせいかにもあのゲドウが好きそうじゃねえか<笑>さすがナナチブレインだねあまあ見当違いかもしれねえぜリコヤツとやり合うには仮想法は不可欠だ何発叩き込めるかが勝負になるそれに大丈夫だ僕は君のことを忘れたりなんかしないレグは単独で動力部に潜入オイラとリコは時間稼ぎだウズは井戸フロントの内側にあるから巻き込まれる心配はねえがどうすればいいんだ<笑>あちま黎明鏡の白笛どうして使えたんだろう本人にしか使えないはずなのにうん足のつかない貧民窟や口減らしの子供たちだあとは数日間の消費期限を生きられる分の腹渡他を全部生きたままそぎ落としていくんだ薬で恍惚と恐怖を操作されて
死ぬまで痛み続ける肉の呪いよけオイラとミーティーがやられた実験の産物恐怖に負けてこいつを作るの手伝ってたんだオイラのことをかわいいかわいいとふわついてきたこの手をよ何にも何にも祝福を受けるにふさわしいさあナナチもっと楽しいことが待っていますぜひ私のところで手伝ってくださいどうしてそうなんだよこのイカレゲドてめえその祝福とやらを得るためだけにプルシカは今は眠っていますきちんと解放しますよそれより私はてっきりユアワースの原料をユアワース命を響く石確か白笛はそれから削り出すって不動教の名が出たあの方も人が悪いユアワースの原料は人間です嘘でしょこの基地はかつて祭祀場の遺跡でした決して戻れぬ六層以降に挑むということは奈落にその身を委ねるという儀式を取り行う場所でもあったんですよ供物は誰でも良いわけではありません使用者に全てを捧げる確固たる意志がなければ命の門が適合しないのです作られる楽器の音色は異物に隠された真の役割を引き出す力をも持ちます悪いものではないでしょうそれで分かったわあなた自分自身を笛の供物にしたのねこれはこれはご明察ですねカートリッジにつながる実験もパワースを作り出すやり方をいじってるうちにからってプルシカを時間稼ぎにしちゃ衝撃的すぎたわ来たぜえっ,っ<笑>これはこれはご機嫌ですねもう少しやんちゃを見ていたいですがこれ以上施設を壊されては支障が出ますファーカレス閉じろトリッチが意識をばらまいて仮想法出来場がないでいるいや破壊の想定規模がでかすぎて張り詰めてんだこれは数奇の光ですかあいつ基地ごとリコ逃げろオイラたちと逆方向にだ、うん、いけませんナナチまあおめえバカか止まれにやってくれたなナナチリコ無事なのか私は大丈夫そうか戻ってきてくれ無事だとよお前一体どうしたってんだこれ耳に詰めとけ通信機かカブトにつけてたのにごとなくしやがってうご同伴願いますどうぞこちらへ。名前があるんですよレグ無傷だとはて
君がそう選択したのではない何を言ってるおや君の光はいささか危険すぎます<笑>誰かが思い出させてくれた体の使い方とはこいつを今止められなければ僕たちの冒険はここで終わるってことを始まりましたねレグレグノノチお前はもう仮想法を打っちまってる手短に最後の作戦を伝えるぜなるほど一かバチかだな奴はカートリッジで呪いすら克服しているだが無人像じゃねえ逃げることに集中して消耗させろ無理に倒そうとは思うなレシーマが終わってしまいました心優しい傑作の一つでした将来の夢はお姫様だったんですよかわいいですね服なのですねターキリントーレイテアノペロああ本当に素晴らしい冒険でしたねプルシュカ私を仕留めたいと願う君が妙なことをさあ次の2000年へ踏み入る準備は整いました共に夜明けを見届けましょう何が夜明けだあの娘の思いをあんな形にしていい理由などバッて止まるか行くぞ女たちおおよ作戦続行だリコ聞こえるかいかがですかグエイラ呪いが深すぎて自我まで持ってかれてますぜほら自分が誰かわかるかいハンズの娘とはいえ運び損じの生き残りこれも使うにはあまりにも濃くっすよこいつは潰した方がいいんじゃ喜びしか知らぬ者から祈りは生まれません生を呪う苦しみの子君にしかできないことがあります君の名はプルシュカ夜明けの花を意味するパパです私がパパですよメイナストイリマ変化のことを呼んでいますおや気に入りましたかプルシュカ好きなものができたのですねたった今から君の世界は変わっていきますこれからの一歩一歩が君を作っていくでしょう今日が君の誕生日君の冒険の始まりですそれうまいか食べれるそうかいもったいねえなアビスにはうまいもんがいっぱいあるのにな両手の爪、左の上腕、入手も全部砕けてるっすね。脊髄はぐしゃらなくて済んでるけど、こいつは精神が戻ってこれるかどうか。大丈夫です。プルシュカの精神はもっと深いところから来ました。きっとすぐ戻ってきます。今から来るのは特別大事なお客様
私の助けになってくれる方たちですプルシュカそのお相手をお願いしたいのです一人は君と同じ白笛の娘なのですよ大丈夫きっとすぐお友達になれますよ何よパパトラ私というものがいるのに私の手私の足私のなんだろう痛い痛い痛いのが増えてく私の痛みがパパの力に変わっていく<音声>パパパパには私がついているよもうどんなに辛いこともどんなに暗い夜も一緒に越えていけるよこの爪浅いところなら通りますね君の体は頑丈が過ぎますが急所すら人に見せていて大変助かりますまだ動ける重いしこの石は偽物じゃないぞだからパパ一つだけ一つだけお願いしていいかなレガレコ今だ私私ねリコたちと仲直りしてほしいんだ喧嘩はダメだよ一緒に冒険行くんだから一緒に冒険に<音楽>くそくたばるんじゃねえぞナナチロしゃべるな何としても直してやるナナチロ驚きましたよもや切り落とした腕を動かせるとはボテる力を全て出し基地を利かせそれぞれが見事に動いた感動的です減らず口もそこまでだその体を守るやつが出てこねえのを見るにもう戦闘に使えるアンブラハンズがいねえんだろう心置きなく残りの設備もツアホリックも処分してやるぜてめえは増えすぎて殺しても殺しきれねえだがてめえの憧れはここで終わりだざまあ見ろとんでもございません君たちの祈りが自らの道を選び進もうという切なる願いが私のそれに勝ったのです君たちがこの先に進むことこそ私の新たな憧れです何言っても無駄かよどうかどうか君たちの旅路にあふれんばかりの呪いと祝福をうるせえよああ本当に起きてくれたかよかったぜナナチあちょ覗いてみたがモツに傷はついてなかったぜ具合から見て大丈夫そうだアンブラハンズは残っちゃいるがオイラたちを邪魔する力までは残されてねそれよかやだレガーお腹僕はこの通り無事だそれよりもプルシカがねこんなにあったかいのにほら子供するのにえ子供が上向き苦しいのダメを響く石マジなのか詰められた被験者が望みでもしない限り
こんなことは呪いを押し付けられてそれでも他人を思いやれるやつなんてそれもこんな短い時間で俺しかリコちょっといいかそれ俺むき出しじゃそのあんまりだろう複雑な気分だろうけどよこいつがリコに託されたのは間違いなくプルシカの意思だお前にしか使えないんだひどく不格好だけどよお前の白笛だ残り10発ってとこかそういえば何も食べてなかったなおめえはたらふく食ったじゃねえか基地の中まだ停電中だぜ2人とも準備おめえ泣いたり食ったり忙しいやつだなおいナナチちくしょうめあの仮面ぶっ壊しておきゃよかったぜいいのかそれなりに話はついたそれにオイラは隊長の意思を尊重するぜほら早く私たちの冒険を始めるのよ闇すらも及ばぬ深淵にその身を捧げ挑む者たちにアビスは全てを与えるといいます生きて死ぬ一緒に行こう旅路の果てに何を選び取り終わるのかそれを決められるのは決して戻れない最後の旅の始まりだ行っちまおうぜうん闇がどんなに暗くても大丈夫あんたとっても明るいからリコ進んで Made the best Dawn of the Deep Soul from 2020 in the books、mm. What'd you think? Great Yeah, that was great Great That was really, really good Yeah、uh, I think it was better than Anything we've seen in season one? Yes. Yeah, it's a step up. Yeah. For sure.、Uh, which I've heard season two is amazing. So, yeah. Kind of leads into that.、Um, yeah, I thought it was really, really well done.、Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, definitely essential viewing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wrote down、uh, you get the resolution of p o n d r u d e you get the loss of his arm. Yeah. You get.、Um, Rico getting her white whistle. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was like, <laughs> and then the addition of、uh, Mania to the team. Yeah. <laughs> so if you、and、just kind went. Kind of Pushka yeah, because of, Pushka. The, of the white whistle. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, if you went straight from one and just started with two, yeah I think you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who's that? What's that? What happened to the arm? <laughs> so yeah, you, you got to watch this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, luckily, it's a great, great little、uh, watch. Yeah,、um, that's good. Yeah, I thought it was really well done.、Um, obviously, because of the Prushka stuff, and I mean, the shades of Nina, you know, kind of the same,、sure. same beats.、Um, yeah, Japan, Japan has a weird obsession with like fathers、uh, being despicable to their daughters. Correct. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Um, But it worked. I mean, we already knew Bondrude. Was that guy like? And I do like that. Wait, is it b o n d r u d e or is it? Yeah, it was b o n d r u d e I kept, I, I thought they kept saying b o r t r u n d No, it was b o n d r u d e We even had it in the. Yeah, I thought it was an R. No. Was that not an R? No, it's B O N D R E W D. b o n d r u d e Man, what the fuck was I looking at? I don't know. Are you sure? Yes. Let me see. Bon D R. What did you say it was? D R E W D.
Lean Abyss, Bondrude. Yeah, where the hell did I get? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, Pinterest has 180 Bondrude ideas in 2023. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what kind of ideas? What What is this? Yikes. Bondrude already had a few ideas of his own. Yeah, they weren't very good. I mean, they worked. Yeah. So again, we, we kind of theorized towards the end of season one that they might not make him an out and out like evil person, which he was evil, but more of a he's. I mean, it's still selfish. Yeah. Right. Because he's doing it to do it to himself. Yeah. Right. Like, like she was an accident. She's the only person that ever happened to. And he's trying to replicate that. And he determined that it was the love that Mitty had for her that caused that reaction. And so he is doing the same thing. Right. But it is also still for him the fascination of the science of it. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, why... I guess I'm a little unclear of, like, why does he want to become, like, Nanachi? I'm assuming... Because he said something about, here's to the next step of the next 2,000 years. So I think he considers that, like, the next step of evolution. But is there anything remarkable about her? I don't... Not really. I mean, not other than her form. Yeah, besides being fuzzy. We haven't seen anything or been told specifically anything. Huh. So I I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, we assume, though, it's because he called it a blessing, right? Yeah. It's the opposite of the curse. So it's a blessing. So he would consider that a good thing. So obviously he's trying to replicate, but he's doing it on himself. Which, yes. You know. I mean, I guess I could chalk it up to just like, he just wants it because it's there. True. Because it's rare. It's part of the abyss. It's part of the Correct. mystery of everything. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like when you're playing Pokemon and it's like a shiny doesn't do anything different. You've lost me. I know. But they're there and you're kind of like, well, if I come across one, I'm going to catch it. Even if it's like a fucking Weedle or something. Again, you've lost me. I don't. Okay. I'm not familiar with any of those terms. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. A shiny is a color variant. They're extremely rare in Pokemon. Okay. So, you know, you walk around but the But they tall don't grass. do anything. They're rare for what reason? Just because they're, they're just a different color scheme. So, like, when you walk around the tall grass and, like, a Pikachu pops up and you yeah. Pikachu, Pikachu over and over yeah. and over again. It's the same fucking sprite. Right. Well, one in like a million is what they call shiny, and it'll be a different color variation, and it'll like sparkle when it like appears on screen. So he'll be like, I forget what Pikachu's variant is, but they're just they're just like color swapped, Mm. and they sparkle. But it's a it's a thing where like like shiny hunting is a thing in in Pokemon for like diehard fans, where they'll go as far as to. Because, again, there's like a one in a million chance that even the starter Pokemon, which is story locked, could be a shiny if your so game... they'll just keep doing... They'll, they'll, they'll delete like the save and do hard resets on their on game. So that they yeah. can try and get it. Yeah. Interesting. It's so like they won't even start their Pokemon game. Like, they'll, you know, go Unless out and they'll they buy... got a shiny. Yeah, they'll buy, they'll buy it day one, and they'll just sit there and they'll just keep resetting for hours. Like I watched the dude do it on the live stream. Took him fifteen hours. Fuck. Yeah, and he got a and he got a shiny finally. He was like, yeah, she's like Christ, crying and shit. Man. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? It's awesome. <sighs> okay, but that's uh, kind of like this. <clears throat> One in a million shot to receive a blessing. Sure, but see again, he's not even playing that game. Yeah. He's refined it down to, I've determined what the yeah. root cause was. So I have now taken this girl 
who they were just going to kill. And I have now fostered an environment in which she loves me more than anything. Well, you gave her that papa pool. Oh, true. Let's uh, let's not talk about the papa pool. <laughs> Look, hmm. we're gonna take that as she was a curious young girl. Sure. sure. And she wanted to know what daddy had that was different than hers, uh-huh. and so he called it the papa pool to make it endearing. Why make it endearing? Because she was young. Make it scary so that she never wants to see it again. Well, I'm just saying. I don't know. But, you know, he's all by himself down there. Just copies of himself. Just copies of himself. It's like, just me and all these other me. It's just Dr. Manhattan all up Well, and we've down. talked about this before. You can just have yourself service yourself. It's true. And you should have no ethical problems or sexual problems with it. You should be perfectly fine. But who's the one doing the sucking? Yeah, there's still going to be a... It's like... It's still a hierarchy. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then because of how, you know, because of the swapping, it's like, yeah. where where is your consciousness? It's like the prestige. Are you the one under the right. stage or who comes out of the box? Right. Right. Mm. I mean, I would always have the consciousness be the one receiving. Sure. <laughs> 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 well, that's just me. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. would hope. Yeah, you'd hope. Hmm. Um, okay. Well, a uh, pretty contained story. Yeah. Um, really just takes place on that fifth level at the... Really, I mean, it, really, it's like from the beginning, the abyss and all the layers, very genius way to set it up because... It's such a perfect way to end a chapter of it yeah. and be like, if if we don't get greenlit for the next season, right. okay, this is where it ends. Right. Yeah, but that's true. Yeah, it, it works as it's perfectly like contained little story. There's no mystery of, as to what's beyond the, the the dive or whatever because no one knows. No one knows. It's left to our imagination yeah. until they show us something. Yep. So, yeah, it is. It's a good way to do it. Built in. Um. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, interesting. The. What did you call it? The Zoaholic? Yeah. The. What'd you call soul it? Soul Slave. Soul Slave. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Um, that, that, uh, again, another relic, <laughs> a very high powered relic. It reminded uh, me sort of, of like, uh, Horcruxes. Yeah, sort of. Um, yeah, it's a similar idea. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. And like now it makes me go like, what other fucking relics are there going to be? Yeah. That can do this wild ass shit. And where did they come from? I know. I was like, again, the big, the big questions are still, where do all these relics come from? Who, who built Reg? Right. Where does he come from? Yeah. 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 I mean, we didn't get a ton of answers to the lingering questions, but that's fine. You know, I, I this was, this was more just, you know, shading in the things that we had learned towards the end of season one. And then f- putting a finality to that specific story. Yeah. And now they're on to other things. She has a white whistle, which they said also reveals the truth of the relics, like their power. Mm-hmm. So like now if they come upon something that they don't know about, she can find out what it is and what it does. Potentially. Yeah, so season two may be more... Maybe much more uh, relic heavy. Could be. I'm sorry. I was saying like the floodgates are open now. Like you, you showed us some shit. Yeah. So I'm, I'm interested to see what they do. Um. Yeah. It. It was just a good little story. 
Yeah. And I think that's all I really wanted from it was just it was just little further adventures. Really but but you I do have to like you have to see this as the culmination of season one. Like this is the real ending of season one. Yeah. Right? So now we move to season two and we see what other shenanigans there are to get up to. Yeah. Will she find her mother? I mean, one thing one thing in this movie, we did not get any surface level. Nope, not at all. This stuff. all took place there. Yeah, no other characters. Nope. No. Really nothing else. Uh, but that's okay. That's that's what this is. This is like a tight little arc. If it was in a season, yeah, it would be like a little four or five episode arc. Um, which, yeah, I mean, that's that's what we're looking for. I just really liked it. I thought the music was fantastic as usual. That closing song was really good. Music's great. Yeah, the yeah. music is is great in this. Um, the art was great. Yep. You know, like the visuals in it are very very good. Yeah, as I was say, like their their uh, their fight was like very stepped up. Yeah, it was. It's good. I like how Reg described it as once he was bathed in the electricity, he lost his memories, but it felt like there were lots of him and one took over. Interesting. That's interesting. And then that's what it did with it. <laughs> like changed him and it unlocked his memory on how to use his body. Yeah. <laughs> so now he can do all that shit. Which is pretty cool. Although he's down an arm. Yeah, he's down an arm. Well, unless they take it with them. And they That's what I was saying. And see, figure out a way to reattach it. it. Yeah. You would think. I'd just be carrying it with me just in case. Yeah. Don't just leave it there. Jesus. Uh, but he only has like 10 shots left. Yeah, which originally he only had three. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe because he bathed in the electricity. Yeah, he got recharged. Him. There you go. So how many times can he do that? Yeah, how many times can you recharge? Infinite? Hmm. Why don't you figure out a power source and hook it up to you so you're carrying it around with you? Uh, an arc reactor of sorts. Yes, exactly. Hmm. The only thing it can't be is solar. True. <laughs> um, otherwise, we'll figure it out. It'll probably be some relic and it'll yeah. run on the wishes of dead children or some shit. Which there will be a lot of, <laughs> yeah. apparently. Yeah, um, there was there was a line that uh, what do you say? Uh, he said the incinerator was the light of the core. Yeah, the light of the core. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. That was basically when he went nuclear. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm assuming that we'll find out at some point, but. Like, is he talking about, like, the core of the planet? Yeah. Like, you know, like, is that where it's harnessed from? Does he know... Does he know what's down there? I mean, maybe. I don't know. How? Yeah, how? How did he come back up? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. But, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Something to add to the list. Yep. <laughs> They also left him alive. They did. I mean, obviously they, you know, he's pretty much done with what he was doing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but he could always. I mean, you know what I mean. He can start it back up. Sure. And he won't have to contend with them because they're not coming back. True. Yeah, I don't know. But. He doesn't have anyone who loves him, so he can't really replicate that. True. At least not right away. So I don't know what else he's going to do. Hmm. I don't know. But, yes, they did leave him alive. But they won. And now they're going down to six. I did like the reveal when Reg took the guy in the lake all the way down, which is technically six, and then brought him back up. 
And we were like, oh, wow, that was easy. I think they already killed him. And then they slammed a boulder on him just for good measure. And then we find out, oh, no. They're all him. He just he walked over. He could be in either one. Rip the fucking yeah, no, rip face the fucking, off. Yeah. It's like, Jesus, and slams it on, and his body changes, and fuck. It's pretty cool. It's like the mask. It's pretty nice. Yeah. What if he turned around and he said, somebody stop me? Would you have liked that, or would you have not liked that? Take a fucking guess, Blake. Do I like that when Jim Carrey does it? Yes. No. I hate that fucking movie. I hate that fucking movie. You don't like The Mask? It's fucking trash, dude. Oh, no. It's not funny. Jeff, this is not good. This This is not a good take. It's just not good. I just don't like it. (sighs) Okay. Look, we had... Do you at least like Cameron Diaz in that movie? I mean, she's smoking. Thank you. Thank you. I did that for you. Yeah. Yes. I like Cameron Diaz in that movie because she's easy to, on the eyes. Yeah. I don't really care for her acting in that movie. Well, she's a shit actor. I mean, she's been okay and stuff. She's mostly shit. Man. She's not a very good actor. I'm sorry. I'm not. I mean, she's, she's okay. She's no Judy Dench, but come on. Well, I mean, who is? Besides Dame, Dame Judy, Judy Dench. Dench. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Hmm. I'm just saying. I, we, it goes along with my Adam Sandler thing from earlier tonight. I don't like mm-hmm. Adam Sandler or Jim Carrey in their early shit. I think that's the weakest of their shit. So you like more his number 23? and Of course, that's the best. Yeah. You like Jim Carrey later in life when he, when he found uh, yeah. spirituality and like lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, that's that's the best Jim Carrey. Cool. I like him in Kick Ass too when he immediately trounces it on the media rounds when he's promoting it. <laughs> yeah, that's peak Jim Carrey. I forgot he did that. What a fucking yeah, dude. What did you think you were signing up for? You fucking idiot. He like goes on a rant again about the violence in the fucking well, movie. Because didn't he do that? Because there was like a there was yes, like a school there was a thing. But still, yeah, it's like the fuck, dude. Nobody's going to kick ass and then saying, you know what, I'm gonna go shoot something. I I oh man, could you imagine if like after like the first John Wick movie, if Keanu Reeves was like on you know doing a little press junket and he's like, you know what, actually after doing the movie now, I'm like super ashamed that I did it. Uh, guns are bad. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't. We, I can't imagine. we wouldn't have gotten John Wick 4. That's true. We wouldn't. Fuck. Yeah. And that's why we don't have Kick-Ass 4. We didn't even have Kick-Ass 3. I know. We didn't get 3. <laughs> we didn't get 4. Yeah. Who knows how good 4 could have been? Well. With an older Aaron Taylor Johnson? When he started acting better and look, actually he does, he is a lot yeah, better than and he looking was, better but. and cooler and shit. True. Imagine a kick ass where he looks like he does from Bullet Train. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah, that would be actually. Chloe Grace Moritz grown up. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicholas Cage grown up. He comes back from the dead. Of course. I mean, hey, that's that's a way to get your audience back in the fucking theater, man. Yeah. Big Daddy. Yeah. He's back. But nope. Instead, we had Mr. Andy Kaufman himself fucking tank that bitch. I mean, that movie just wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. Like, the first one was fun. The first one was okay. The first one was okay. It was fun. Yeah. The second one? No, not really. Mm. Too much. (sighs) Yeah, too much. It's too too overstuffed with... Well, Jim Carrey. And that's what I was to say. That's kind of what I'm saying, man. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like putting Johnny Depp in your in your movie as Grindelwald. It's like a little mm-hmm. too much. A little, a little too much there, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, okay. You got anything else you want to talk about in this movie? I mean... No. They they had, they now have a new little porg character that so will be with them. Yeah, I mean I'm just saying, dude, it looks so much it, like a porg. He kept licking the 
stuff. And that's because it was trying to... I know, but that's like her, like... I know that. Juice. I like to think if I was bleeding out on the ground, mm. my pet would come over and start licking my blood. Sure. Because, number one, it's the way to feel closest to me. Yeah. Because you're actually ingesting me physically. You know? That's why every time I like when I every time I piss the bed, like horror comes over and Hold on. It, <laughs> let's back up that statement. That's right, just go ahead. Let's let's beep beep beep. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Let's back that up. <laughs> uh every time? <laughs> every night. How m- <laughs> Yeah, every night. Guys? Every night I leave, piss the bed. Leave, leave comments. Chapter Is that one. normal? <laughs> Doesn't sound normal to me. I haven't pissed the bed. I don't let me think. I actually don't know if I ever. Well, I mean, I, I must have. Pissed I the had bed. to have pissed it when I was a very little child. But like, I truly don't remember. I don't a remember time ever doing it either. That ever. Yeah. No. I never even like. Even if like someone tried to prank me, I always woke up. Mm. You know, like I never the, understood the whole thing of like the, the hand in the water. Yeah, and then just being like, I'm just pissing. I'm like, because anytime I have the, the like feeling of peeing, I'm just like immediately like, boom, I gotta piss. <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, shit, and I run over the bed. And I'm like, ugh. But I mean, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. How do you just I have mean, that? How do you just have the feeling and just go uh, and like let it out? Well, without, without knowing. Yeah, I don't know. Unless you, I, well, I okay. mean, I've never, I've, I've never experienced it, so I don't know. But the way that people describe it is that you don't feel it because it's not an urge. It's yeah, just it, that it just releases. But how? I don't. The know. only okay. Here's two ways I can understand it. You're very old, and like your body's just sort of releasing sure, shit. But that's gonna happen anyway. Yeah. Or two, it? you're fucking fucked up drunk. Yeah, I mean, if you're drunk, you can just piss the bed without having your hand in water. Yeah. <laughs> like, a lot of times you just piss it while you're sleeping. You don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's what I meant. I meant. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. Like, yeah, in, I know. In uh, in general, I don't understand how people yeah. piss the bed. Not just the hand in the water, but like. Yeah. I'm just talking about the hand in the water thing. I'm talking in general. How do people piss the bed without... I understand drunk people. Yeah. For sure, because you're not even... You don't have your faculties there. A lot of them, you're blacked out and you don't even know. Little kids. Sure. Very small children. They either don't understand what their bodies are doing yet or some of them don't know the signs. Yeah. And don't know what it is that it means yet. I don't know. Do they? I don't know. Do they like it? It's like the it's maybe it's like a Is holdover. A it's a holdover from pissing in like a diaper. I mean, that could be if you if you're used to that. Yeah, and they're just like, oh, like I and I you love just that transitioned feeling. out of diapers. Yeah. Then yes, maybe. But I I don't know. I hmm. was I was never that child. Yeah. So it's it's foreign to me. And then yes, when you're very very old. And your prostate is the fucking size of a. You really just you. It's it's more. You don't even have time. Yeah. From the time you like, t- your brain understands. Oh, I need to urinate. Oh shit! You, you, it's just coming. It's out. already dribbling down your leg. Yeah. So. And that's the thing too. It it, it dribbles. It doesn't even shoot right. out anymore. Well, yeah. You have no more like pressure. Yeah. It just like leaks out. Yeah. And it's like hot red. It's like bloody, dark, well, stinky. That you might need to go to the urologist for that. Yeah, well, it's coming out of my ass. And that's a proctologist, buddy. <laughs> they, they're Excuse in the same me. office. Go see them. They're Excuse next to each other. Be real quick. Do you see this shit running down the back of your pants? Jesus, like, you motherfucker! Leanne always asks me because so when, I mean, obviously she's a woman. They have, I'm look. I'm being real, guys. They have smaller bladders. Yeah. And she just has to go. She urinates more frequently. Right? I just think I, it's one of those things. I don't believe that women have smaller bladders. I believe that they they're... physically do, dude. No, I believe that they're fucking with us when they do that. No, it's a physical... Go look. No, they're doing that shit on purpose to piss us off. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> so she basically like shuts down drinking stuff at like 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. Because she just doesn't want to have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. I drink a big gulp at like midnight. Dude, I drink like two of these. Yeah, I have a, I have a fucking thermos next to my bed. I drink two of these 
I get into bed and I start reading and I drink one of them. I get up, go fill it up again, come back, finish reading before I go to bed and I drink another one and I don't get up to pee until I wake up in the morning. Yeah. And she's like, I don't understand how you do that. And I was like, I don't understand how you don't. I mean, I get up in the middle of the night and go pee, but like I, yeah. I don't. But I just drink a lot. I never need to. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. Hmm. You just hold it until the morning and you get one. I just never like feel like I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I think it's, I think for me, and I guess at this point it's just because I'm, even though I'm old, I'm not old enough yet for the prostate to have the problems. Hmm. So eventually it will get to the point where like right now, once I go to sleep, I have no issue just holding it and it doesn't tell me you need to go now, now, now. Right. So when I wake up, I'm just like, oh, I got to pee. But I assume in the next 10 years, at yeah. some point, I will do that because I'm not going to stop drinking water. Sure. I'll drink the water and then probably within two hours, my brain will be like, get up, get up, go, go, go. And I will get up and be like, what the? And I'll have to go pee. Yeah, like I know, I noticed for me it's worse with sodas. Yeah, it's definitely worse with sodas. For yeah. Sure. So like I can't drink a big thing of soda right before bed. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be doing that I, anyway. I used to. I mean, was, I used to do shit like that too. Yeah, but it was bad. But I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. I usually stop having. I usually stop having stuff like at night by like nine. Like food or drink, I'm usually done by nine. And just water. After and it's that. just water after that yeah. if I want something. Yeah. It's about right. But I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Question. Yeah. Did Liza, her mother, yeah. have to go through I'm assuming this area? I mean, it's the I only mean, place, right? Like, yeah. It's the only place to go down. So, so does Bondrew not like have an issue with her? I guess not. I mean, he recognized the weapon as hers, so he obviously knew who she was. It's weird that he gave the weapon back to her. I guess it's because he knew that was her daughter. Yeah. I mean, it's just weird because it's like he's a bad guy. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's a bad Again, guy, but it's he's not like, necessarily that he's a bad guy. Right. It's more that he's misguided. In well, what he's doing. Yeah, and they did say that the the fucking soul machine, whatever, would like would make people insane. Right. Yeah. So, so again, it's corrupting him even yeah. more. Which again is another Horcrux thing of like Correct. the more you split, the more evil you are. Right. Although that's yeah, explicitly evil. Yeah. His is more insanity. He yeah. doesn't he doesn't recognize what he's doing is Correct. Is bad. Yeah, which is usual. Yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't think he had any issues with Liza. I think he just, you know. Plus, she's an adult. And it's yeah, like, I mean, what's he going to do? Yeah. I mean, he's also, she's a white whistle. I mean, yeah. fuck off. What are you? My question is, were they aware of what he was doing? Or did right. he start doing it after? Maybe after. Otherwise, you know, Liza's kind of a piece of shit. Like, right? For letting that shit go on? Yeah. Just like Ozen, too? Yeah. Like, if they knew? Well, I think Ozen did know, and I think she is a piece of shit. Yeah. She knew some stuff she was going on. She knew some shit. Yeah. Mm. And I think, what's his name? Habo or whatever. Is that his name? Hado? Habo? Her uncle. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Is it Habo? Uh, I don't remember. No. H-A-B-O? I can't remember. Haribo? Stop. He's not a gummy bear. Shut up. I don't have time to look this up. Yeah, Habo. Uncle Habo. Habo, yeah. Okay. He's got to know some stuff, right? Um, he might, although he's not a white whistle, so I don't think he's been down that far. It's true. He's a black whistle. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know Ozen specifically said something about Bondrud. Yeah, she said he was the most odor or something. All? I don't remember what the phrasing was, but... Yeah. Like, he's basically, like, the worst of them all. Ruthless? Is that what she said? 
I don't remember. Yeah, I forget exactly what she said, but yeah, it was basically watch out. He's yeah. He's cunning. He's a psychopath. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they knew. Watch out for his pop up hole. Hey, I didn't put it in the movie. They did. I understand. I know. I'm just. It fits with this sick world of fascination with sexuality and nudity and shit. Of children. Of children. It's, it's, It's weird. Yeah, it is weird. I mean, they're not. It's 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 crazy because it's not like explicit. It's yeah. implied stuff. Yeah, it's it en- makes you just go. Ugh. It's enough for like the author to be like watching you watch it, and he's like, "What do you think?" <sighs> it's one of those things where like if I if I went on Crunchyroll News or whatever, and I saw he got like arrested for child pornography, I'd be like, I'd be "That like, tracks." I'd be like, "Yeah, that's about right. Makes sense." I watched Made in Abyss. I understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, but but hey. Look, I don't want to say anything bad about the guy. No, we're not. Look, we're just saying art is a great way to work through your art personal hang imitates life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I have a feeling. Mm. No. You think he calls his the Papa Pole? Uh, he has to. Who? How else you this. do you? Am I gonna start calling mine <laughs> no, the Papa Pole? Say. Yeah, I think I have to. Am I allowed to do? Am I allowed to you're do the same? A, you're or? not a Papa. You can't get. You can't do it. Okay. Oh no, you're right. Shit. All right, so I have to have a kid. Yeah. Once you have a kid, you can call it the Papa Pole. Okay. And then when you describe what sex is, you can use that. Yeah, the Papa Pole and the a, Mama Hole as an object lesson. There you go. Maybe that's what he does. Who's the mama? It was Liza. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, she was the child of one of the umber hands. But they're all. They said. They're all him. They're all him. But who was the mother? Right. Who's he having sex with? I mean, who is he having yeah. sex with? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Unless at one point they weren't all him. They were actually different people. Yeah, I mean, well, they said that, she said that that relic disappeared 15 years ago. Okay. It was thought to be lost. Okay. So that would be older than her. Yeah. Right? So it would have been lost before. So he's had it that long. Yeah. He may not have used it in the beginning. Right. Plus, I guess nobody knew because they all wore the masks so that he could basically have his own little Knights of Ren that nobody else knew were the same. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess. Shit, who knows? Have you had sex with one of those things down in the pit? I don't think they have the proper plumbing for that. Don't, don't know. We don't know. Maybe he added some plumbing to some of them. Mm. I mean, this dude's a freak. Like, I, mean, I agree with he's a freak, but I don't think he's that freaky. Okay. I think he would just have like, women. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he just had women brought down from above. True. Just for them to fuck them and then probably kill them. Yeah, he just sends an uh, sends an order. Child to go to town because he wanted children. Because he yeah because he wanted the blessing. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. He's like barbarian. Although that actually doesn't make sense because he already had the daughter. Because Manachi said at the time that all this was going on, he already had his daughter. So he was already doing it without knowing love was what caused whatever. Well, yeah, but then that, that's why. Because he didn't know what caused it, and he, fuck, yeah. and he fucked up the first time around. Sure. So he had to get himself a second daughter. 
Yeah, because it wasn't until Midi and and Nanachi whatever yeah, I know. That's proved. What I'm yeah. But and she they w- was saying that he already had his daughter when they arrived. When who arrived? Nanachi, Nanachi and, and Midi. Yeah. But what if he used his daughter in some experiment? That was a daughter. You sure they were talking about her? They weren't talking about. talking about. Yes. They weren't talking about a different kid. No, they were talking about her. Oh. Don't know them. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, did he start to actually raise it? Raise the girl just. For actual, but if that's the realistic reasons, but yeah, but why, why, why the change of heart? Nah. And then if it's the other way, then it, the timeline doesn't make sense. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in power. Okay. Well, good little movie. Excited for season two. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was already excited, but I think this got me more, yeah. more excited. Got to see what's, got to see what's down and. Got to see what else they're gonna have happen. Don't they know the layer, the next layer though? Yeah, I mean, layer six, they know what it is, but... Yeah. Because they've sent... Even though the white whistles can't come back up, they've yeah, sent stuff they've back. Sent yeah, they've sent stuff. Okay. To know sure. To sure. But, I mean, yeah. we, we know all the way to seven, right? Yeah, I think so. And then beyond that. Yeah, I think so. I think seven was the furthest. Yeah. So. Okay. So there's still possibility for... Brand new. We have no clue what's going on. Yeah, true. Plus, like, now that she was asking at the beginning, like, why don't they have, like, detailed maps of all of the stuff on the levels they've been to? Yeah. And it was because they don't want other raiders to be able to go, so they only verbally pass down information on the key stuff. So, like, there are gaps in their knowledge. That maybe somebody knows but never got to be able to tell somebody. So there's plenty of stuff they're going to, I'm sure, run into that they're like, oh my God, I have no idea what that is. Hmm. I don't know how this works. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, well, I think that's going to do it for this video. We'll see you guys in season two of Made in Abyss. Bye.